Hello friends, welcome back. Next, let's talk about the custom command. So, uh, to create a custom command, there are multiple ways. There are hundred. Um, I don't know the number, but there are multiple ways to create a custom command. And you can uh, see how we can create a custom command from this handbook detail. But I have created a custom command for uh, created custom command. And I will uh, show you uh, in a practical. So, let me just visit. Uh, here you can see this in a main plugin file. I have included this wpcli custom command now why i have added this if condition because the wpcli related functionality only available when you execute the wordpress or the wordpress commands from the terminal or through the wpcli by default this constant is not available in a wordpress in a normal wordpress when you visit from the browser so we we need to identify we need to make sure that that uh, this file will execute only from the WPCL uh, using the WPCL and from the terminal, not from the browser. Otherwise, it will give you the fatal errors. And uh, in this uh, uh, file, I have created WP couch con command. Uh, so first command is the hello, which takes uh, some of the arguments, arguments and associated arguments. And uh, here is the inline uh, using this inline comments. You can identify various options. Uh, the various options with the default uh, options as well, uh, and you can provide options as well. And this is the example WP Couch con hello organizers. So let's say hello to our organizers. So WP Couch con hello organizers. We have the simple message, right? It's easy way to create a custom command, right? So he, what we I did is just that uh, uh, when uh, uh, WP Couch con hello organizers execute. The, our hello uh, this is a function name which is also your command name and you can also make some changes using the uh, add sub command uh, attribute in the inline document you will find you you will find more about on the uh, on the handbook but this is the hello means uh, your uh, sub command name and here argument uh, the organizer is the not associated argument so it's it, it will give you an args uh, variable and then you can just type so if i pass type and let's say warning so it will tell you it's a warning and if you pass error error then it will give you the error message so this identify like and if you're building the custom command it will identify whether some things is success go success or like some have warnings or error, errors so you can identify the messages through this way so here the here organizer is our uh, argument and hyphen hyphen time is our associated arguments. So you can see the name here and then type here, right? And I had just simply used the dollar type means the the success warning error and the success is the uh, method name of the WPCLI class. And I have just used it. And second, I have created a command about display the list of posts from the wpcouchcon.com site. So with and and we can uh, out uh, we can render and we can output that uh, content through in a three format table json and csv and i have added this example here so simply in a blog i have created a blog sub command and then i have just uh, get executed the api call uh, get the response decode the uh, json decode and just added the link in here and uh, I, and this is the like uh, for utility function for uh, for outputting your uh, your results and uh, this is the uh, to register the command so once your command is uh, there you can just add a command this is the wp couch con this is your main command and this is the class where your uh, the methods the class methods will be your sub commands okay so let me just uh, execute this command uh, format table and it will give you the sorry this time also so let me just uh, now it little bit visible so title and the link and you can see the title and the link i have get from the response from the rest api of, of our wpcouchcon.com website and similarly uh, if you pass the csv the csv it will give you the out, uh, output in the csv format so same you can like creating csv as well and similarly for json it will uh, give you output in the json format so this is just like a like a basic example on like how you can create a custom command and how you can perform 
your background jobs, your your migration scripts, or on using the word uh, WP Select code base, you can create uh, tools like uh, Easy Engine or any other concept which you uh, have an idea, right? Uh, and performing the actions. So this is the like uh, custom command you have uh, uh, to create a custom commands. And I hope it's uh, help you to understand more on that. Um, the next, uh, so this is a one of our example we have created a uh, report command. So it will generate the reports of themes and plugins uh, in a multi-site environment. So uh, we have created a custom one. We want the list of the hundred more than, there are more, more than hundred sites uh, we found in a multi-site environment. And we want to know how uh, the list of the plugins and themes and which plugins have been activated on particular sites. So for that, we don't, uh, it, it will be the manual task, like go to the WP admin network and then just go through each and every size and then list down all of the active plugins and themes. Uh, but for that, it's a manual, right? It will be time consuming. So we have our, one of my colleagues had created this command called the WP report, and it will report the plugins and themes based on the multi-site and uh, mul using, uh, and also listed that uh, on this site, this plugins and themes have been uh, activated or not activated. So this way we can leverage uh, or use the custom common functionality and it will help us uh, to reduce your overall development effort. We can reuse that command over and over again on many projects or, or on your freelancer clients or anything. Uh, and you can, so easily you can, uh, create using the custom command, you can automate your development workflow. With, like, as a plugin or theme developer, what things you can do and whether that things can be automated through the custom command or and it help you to save the lots of time since like uh, to installing the work uh, installing the wordpress and set up the site in a local with less than a five minutes we can do this right we don't need to have the uh, open the browser and do the stuff so it's really helpful yeah this is all about we have see like the wpc like provides many many uh functionality and uh, it's really a good friend of our uh, of developer right but now it's time us uh, it's time for us to give giving back now in a giving back there are many ways for contribution either you can report a like report the issue on a github you can if you already did uh, some issues have been reported if you know how to fix then you can submit the patches right but one of the most favorite contribution in my opinion is uh helping the helping the developers helping the friends to learn about the wp cli since like i am currently i am doing like i am telling you more about the wp cli right so it's also the giving back it, it's not like that uh, submitting the patch only it's a main contribution but helping others to learn the tools like not just a wp cli but the wordpress as well it's a really good contribution right so i hope you also if you already know the wp cli then help others and encourage uh, developers and your friends to use the WP CLI in, in their development workflow and utilize and leverage the WP CLI commands, right? So it's about the giving back and I hope uh, you also help others to, to explore more about the WP CLI. And these are the, some references I have. Uh, I have added some handbook links, uh, the commands, uh, the built-in commands link and some of the th useful packages I have shown about profile and doctor. And uh, one of our uh, WP CLI report command we have created for multi-site environment. So that's also I have added as a reference. So you can later on, you can go and check it out.